Well, I think it's you know most important is to to build a compelling, artistic, engaging golf course that, that's going to you know maintain those qualities over a long period of time. And um, any ranking should should follow that if, if you're successful in doing that. So, um, you know, we're just want to build interesting golf that has its own unique flair that other people or people around the who, who look at golf, you know, would say that each one of, that we do is, is unique in its own way. We're not, we're not copying anybody else or, I mean, we're taking inspiration certainly from, from other people and um, the other courses out there, but, but we like to put our own unique spin on things and um, you know, we'd, we'd like to continue to do that. And um, it, it has been fun to see the, the growth of Sweetens Cove. And I've, I can't remember who I, I said this to the other day, but, um, you know, in 2011, 2012, when Tad and I were doing that, we kind of felt like we were, you know, sitting on this ticking time bomb and it took a long time for it to, to go off at Sweetens. It wasn't an easy uh, birthing process. I think the, the birthing process at Landman will be a lot easier, but it's a very eerie, similar feeling um, as t- to what, I feel right now about Landman as to what I felt about Sweetens Cove. I just had this huge, you know, sense of anticipation and excitement about, you know, being able to get this thing out into the, the marketplace and for people to be able to see it. And, um, I, I told Will, I, I, the crazy thing about Landman is I think it, I think it has the potential to, to, to blow the doors off of Sweetens in terms of, attention and, and hype and, 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 and everything. And, and I, I, that I'm talking about my baby, you know, that Sweetens is my baby. So I don't, I'm not knocking it at all in, in any way, shape or form, but that's what, that's how compelling Landman is. I just mm-hmm. can't wait for people to see it. And I, I feel like we've, we're just sitting on something and you can feel the ground rumbling underneath you. And I just, I can't wait to, have it done and, and get people out there to see it. What's, what's your favorite spot on the golf course? I know there's a lot of kind of cool points where you can see just a ton. Have you decided on that? No, there, <laughs> I, it was funny. We were getting number one green ready um, the other day. And I just, I spent about 15 minutes just kind of staring at, at the entrance to that green. I, and then that to, to number one to number two tees is incredible. Um, 18 approach is, is amazing. Um, coming up 16 fairways, you start to see 17 and 18 behind is, is really fantastic. There's a lot of memorable spots on that golf course, but the one that's probably going to take the cake, I guess, would be the, the tees on number 12, which is 155 yard par three, uh, kind of across a chasm and, and, 12 will be be well known for being a place where you see 12 other golf holes um you know to be able to look across that vast landscape and see 12 of those 18 holes snaking around in in the distance will that'll probably take the cake i would say